Hey, what's up, my fellow nerds? This is another edition of Direct Edition. And today, what we're going to be talking about, we're going to talk about how to find cheaper hardcovers. Uh, the first rule of finding cheaper hardcovers is um, what I do is I go on Amazon and I look for used books, but I use for the I look for the used like new. Now, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you a couple of my hardcovers that I got for five dollars and under, which means on Amazon it was it only cost me a dollar, but I had to pay three ninety nine shipping and handling. Okay, so the first book is Avengers. The second book is going to be Batman and Robin with Damien as Robin. The next book is The Death of Captain America, Bucky Barnes. The next book after that is Wolverine Season 1, where it's basically a retelling of Logan's uh, past. Logan is Wolverine. The next one we have is The Indestructible Hulk. Uh, this is the Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. This is Hulk Volume 1. Um, I don't understand why Hulk has on armor, but if you ever read uh, World War Hulk or Planet Hulk, he had on a gladiator armor anyway. And we have another one of my Wolverines that I picked up under $5. This is Wolverine Dangerous Games. As you know, Wolverine is my favorite hero. My second would be the Cape Crusader, none other than Batman. We have another Avengers. This is Avengers Initiative. We have Taskmaster, uh, Norman Osborn as Iron Patriot. And we have The Hood, Parker Robbins. In this run of the Avengers, uh, Marvel was really trying to bring Parker Robbins, a.k.a. The Hood, um, to the forefront as far as Marvel villains. I do like Parker Robbins a lot. I know a lot of my fellow nerds don't like him, but I really find Parker Robbins to be very interesting, um, The Hood. Uh, Taskmaster, we all know, um, is just a beast. He actually trains most of your villains in hand-to-hand -hand combat within the Marvel Universe. I like Taskmaster a lot. And what can I say more about Norman Osborn, the Green Goblin, a.k.a. Iron Patriot? This guy actually won the, sc the Scroll War for our Marvel heroes and became uh, the head over like the security force. Um, not necessarily S.H.I.E.L.D., but it was Hammer. Um, I love this volume, but this is another one that I picked up for $5. This is not one that I picked up for $5, but I wanted to talk about it. This is The Dark Avengers. Uh, this is basically when Norman Osborn actually rose to power. He formed his own Avengers team. It's a really, really, really good book. If you haven't read this book, you must pick it up. If you're reading Secret Wars and want to know a little bit more about Molecule Man, uh, they have a great story where they actually fight Molecule Man in this one. I love that this hardcover is one of my favorites, The Dark Avengers. The next one I picked up for under $5 or $5 is Daredevil, The Man Without Fear. Ben Affleck. But I'm just kidding with you. Daredevil, The Man Without Fear. Um, I've always been a Daredevil fan, especially of his yellow costume. Um, Matt Murdock is uh, basically an inspiration to people who um, have special needs, but um, it inspires them to that they too can be superheroes. I uh, love the comic. Glad I picked it up for $5 and under. And next we have Anakin Skywalker, a.k.a. Darth Vader, Star Wars. Darth Vader, The Cry of Shadows. Yes, I did get this one for under five. Um, I do love my Star Wars book, even though they're not canon anymore. Uh, this falls under le the Legacy volume. Um, only the Marvel uh, books are considered canon right now. Uh, one gripe I have with Marvel is that some of your hardcovers uh, 
come without dust jackets and they're printed right on the hardcover. And another gripe I have with Marvel is everything is in paperback right now. I still love Marvel. Um, my favorite company besides DC. Uh, I do love my indie comics too. But shame on Marvel for having everything in paperback right now. What are you trying to do? Save money? But for extreme collectors like myself that actually keep their action figures in um, mint on card and don't take them out, like this Venom here, we love our hardcovers, okay? Because hardcovers are more hard to tear up. Uh, the spine actually stays better. Um, so Marvel... And all you other guys out there, keep producing hardcovers. Uh, if you got to print paperback for them, that's fine. But I would like to get hardcovers over paperbacks. And the last book that I got for under $5 is Darth Vader, The Ninth Assassin. Uh, Darth Vader, The Ninth Assassin is a good book drawn by one of my favorite artists, Olivetti. Olivetti drew uh, a cable volume. Um, Cable of X-Men. He drew Scar, Son of Hulk volume. And he also drew, um, it was X-Men, The Second Coming. Um, he drew um, some of the artwork off of that. I love that. I love Olivetti's artwork. He drew some Punisher too. But his guys are usually beefy. And he has this kind of color to it that makes it look very realistic. But yes, um, Darth Vader, uh, Star Wars The Ninth Assassin, I actually got this one from overseas, which most of your cheaper books would be offered from. Uh, more specifically, the UK, um, it just takes you about two weeks to get them in. That's the only setback. But hey, if you're getting a book for only a dollar, plus $3.99 shipping and handling, who can't wait two weeks for a good story to come in? In the meantime, you just keep busy by buying yourself Funko Pops or something else. And here's a look at the back art of the books. This is Darth Vader and the Cry of Shadows. If you want to, you could pause it and read it. Wolverine Dangerous Games. He's the best there is at what he does. Batman and Robin. This is where Damien dies. It has a silent issue in it. The next arc is very good because Batman actually goes down to uh, Apocalypse where Darkseid is and he um, gets this Apocalypse shard or something like that and puts it in Damien's body and Damien comes back to life with superpowers. But that's in the next volume. This is the volume before that. Very, very, very good story. If I can recommend a story to you guys, that's the one to get. Okay, the next volume after this one. Darth Vader, the Ninth Assassin. This is Olivetti's work. Let me scroll down so you can read. Avengers. I think this is volume three. My favorite, Storm. Storm and Wonder Woman are my favorite superheroines. The Death of Captain America. Cap Bucky. Wolverine Season 1. The Hulk Volume 1, The Hulk for Hire, <laughs> shout out to Luke Cage, the original hero for hire, Luke Cage and Iron Fist. And Avengers Initiative, look at the hood on the back, it's pretty cool. The hood and his two guns. And... The Man Without Fear, Daredevil. That's Foggy Nelson. Um, that looks like Bullseye he's standing on top of. 
I didn't even notice Bullseye was in this book. I haven't read any of these guys yet. So, like I said, this is how you get uh, cheaper comics, more bang for your buck. I go to the used book section on Amazon and get used like new. Um, I end up picking up all. Let's see how many we got. Two, three. End up picking up 10 books for $50. Can't beat that. All right, that makes another edition of Direct Edition. You nerds be safe out there. I love the comic book community. And like I said, this is how you pick up a good haul of books for under $5.